Hello again, thank you for tuning in for this announcement of the winners of this year's competition. So here we are, these are the uh, three categories announcing today, the commended category, the highly commended category, and the three prizes. So let's jump in um, with in reverse order with the commended category. And uh, the commended poets are Lizzie Smith for her poem, Ode to My Honourable Bag. Imogen Wade for her poem, New Life. Cleo Hannaway Oakley for her poem, Patient. Perla Cantagian for her poem, Survival Skill. Helen Catt for her poem, Grief Gives Birth. Zoe Siobhan Howarth Lowe for her poem, The Caesarean. In the highly commended category, we have four poems and the highly commended poets are Nadian Sadiq for her poem, Two Roads. Fiona Dignan is uh, jointly highly commended for her two poems. In this poem, she doesn't die and how many children do you have? And Chloe Hanks, highly commended for her poem, Proud. So we come to the three prizes this year, and uh, we'll do them in reverse order. The third prize uh, goes to Niall Ashdown for his poem, Ordinary Miracle. The second prize goes to Sarah Levy for her poem, Out of the Blue. And the first prize this year is awarded to Christine Marshall for her poem, Peanut. All brilliant poems and uh, uh, congratulations to everybody who's commended, highly commended, and to the winners as well. So a good friend of mine, an actor and musician called Verona Chard, has recorded for us a beautifully evocative version of Christine's poem, Peanut. Keep an eye out for next year's competition. It will be announced on the National Poetry Library website, on the Poetry Kit, other listing sites, and if you follow our social media, it will also be on there as well. And I'm pleased to present to you Christine Marshall's poem, Peanut, read by Verona Chard. Peanut by Christine Marshall It is quiet. The room is filled. Beside me you doze in a see-through plastic box. Snow white in the enchanted forest waiting for a kiss. Do you know you are outside? I miss you inside. Playing with your foot through taut belly skin. Most of the gristle and other bloody stuff has left. I'm emptied. You lie on your back, body splayed in X. Tiny hands rest beside thick black hair. You are completely you. I wasn't prepared for that as if you would have been a half-thing waiting to be filled. Love weighs eight pounds and ten ounces. Colostrum pumps into milk ducts, and your seal eyes open for a second to sniff the air. I am here for you. We scrap a fresh skin. Snipped, bruisy cord, frog legs, minute organs, and totty nails. Will I always be able to buy you shoes? How do I become a mother? I reach and touch your hand. Your hand. You who are now separate.